Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, let's discuss how do we design the G plus 3 building in StarPro software. Not only design, let's discuss how do we apply the load combinations which includes dead load, live load as well as earthquake load. In the previous video, we had modeled the same structure and we had discussed how to apply the loads, how to assign the member properties and how to assign the support conditions. Everything we had discussed in the previous video for the same building. Please do watch that video so that it will be very helpful for you to continue this video. I'll give you the link in the description box and without further delay, let's move on. Before starting the design, let's discuss how to assign the load combination. I will show you what are all the load combinations which we are going to add for the dead load, live load and earthquake load cases. We have 14 load combinations. First one is 1 times dead load plus live load and 1.5 times dead load plus live load, 1.5 times dead load plus earthquake load, 1.5 times dead load minus earthquake load. You have to be very careful while assigning these load combinations because always there will be a positive direction and negative direction in earthquake loads and this is the 1.5 times dead load plus earthquake in z direction 1.5 times dead load minus earthquake in z direction 1.2 times dead load plus live load plus eqx this is the combination where we have all the three loads so that time our factor will be 1.2 when only two load cases are coming that time the factor would be 1.5 so in this we have four combinations 1.2 times dead load live load earthquake in uh, positive x direction negative x direction similarly positive z direction negative z direction and the last one is 0.9 dead load plus 1.5 times eqx so you can easily remember that these two cases are dead load case and live load case only for gravity load and when you start for uh, lateral load it start with 1.5 times dead load and earthquake load only two load combinations so that time the factor is 1.5 when it comes with the three load combination that time the factor is 1.2 and you will be having all four combinations similarly another different load case is 1.9 times dead load plus 1.5 times eqx factor 0.9 is for dead load and 1.5 is for earthquake load so in that combination we have four cases so overall we have 14 load combinations you can divide these two are gravity load and these 12 cases are for earthquake loads in this way you can easily remember these load cases so i'm going to copy this one and going to paste in the stat editor mode go to stat editor mode and here after this load case you can add load combination this is for your reference so from here you are going to start the load combinations enter paste all the values so the load combinations everything i have pasted here whatever we have discussed now the thing is you need to add the proper name for this load combinations so here our load case 6 one 6 is live load so next you have to start with the seventh one so my load combination one is going to be load combination 7 so that is going to be 1 times dead load plus live load so for this you have to enter the values that means my dead load is 5 load case 5 is my dead load 5 is the dead load factor is 1 and 6 is the live load factor is 1 next this is my load combination 8 which is 1.5 times dead load plus live load again you need to enter the factor which is 5 is the load case factor is 1.5 6 is the load case factor is 1.5 this is done next my load combination 9 that is 1.5 times dead load plus eqx you can see my eqx that is load case 1 my eq negative x that is load case 2 similarly 3 is my positive z direction 4 is my negative z direction 
so what i have to enter here is 5 is my dead load factor is 1.5 and 1 is my earthquake load in x direction positive x direction in factor is 1.5 so that is done next my load combination 10 so here i need to again enter the load case and factor and again here you have to give the load case number as 2 and factor is negative 1.5 next my load combination so, sorry this is load combination 10 and next my load combination is 11 so here 5 factor is 1.5 and load case is 3 so direction is 3 factor is 1.5 this is done next my load combination is going to be 12 5 1.5 3 negative 1.5 sorry this is 4 4 is the negative direction so negative 1.5 is for 4 and i need to enter the factor so here 5 is my dead load which is 1.2 6 is my live load which is also 1.2 this is my load combination 14 so here i am going to enter the factor 5 is 1.2 and 6 is also 1.2 and my load case 2 is minus 1.2 which is for negative x direction so negative 1.2 next i am going to add my load combination 15 5 is 1.2 6 is 1.2 and 3 is 1.2 next load combination 16 5 is 1.2 6 factor is 1.2 3 not 3 it is 4 which is negative 1.2 this is my load combination 17 and here 5 is my dead load case so which is 0.9 and 1 is 1.5 18 the same i'll copy here this won't change 2 is negative 1.5 that's it this is my 19th load this is the 19th load combination and again copy this is this one so this is okay and here this one is 3 and this is positive 1.5 here 4 this is negative 1.5 so we are done with all the load combinations see this is the 20th one sorry i forgot to change the number this is the 20th combination as i told you we had 14 load combinations and before that we had six load cases so overall we get 20 cases so this load combination you can do it in different way as well but i prefer this one only so that you will be having the control in your hands whenever anything mistake happens you can easily identify so i always suggest you to follow this method save and then close the editor file here you can see all the load combinations whichever we have added and now we are done with the load combinations let's start the design go to design select concrete here you have to select the is code is456 you have to select next select parameter so here many parameters are there first select all the parameters to this window available parameters from this you can select one by one let's select clear this is the clear cover of the member and then next let, let's select the compressive strength of concrete yield strength of main reinforcement yield strength of shear reinforcement let's select the ratio maximum percentage of longitudinal reinforcement we can select and let's select maximum size of main reinforcement and maximum size of secondary reinforcement give ok next we have to define the parameters first one is clear cover so here we are going to design beam and column so we need to provide clear cover for beam as well as column clear cover for beam is 25 mm which is 0.25 meter 0.025 meter that i am adding and then for column it is 40 mm 0.04 and next compressive strength of concrete which is 25,000 kilonewton per meter squared 
that we can add next one is yield strength of main reinforcement that is fe 500 so we need to add 500 so 500 kilonewton per meter cube but here it is in kilonewton per meter square that is why additional three zeros we need to add next one is secondary reinforcement which is 415 and maximum main reinforcement maximum size of main reinforcement here i'm choosing 25 mm add and maximum size of secondary reinforcement i'm choosing 10 mm secondary reinforcement means in beam it is the stirrups in column it is ties so it will not go beyond 10 mm so i'm choosing 10 mm and add so here we should not forget to add this one whatever the parameters we are uh, defining that we need to add without fail next one is ratio maximum percentage of longitudinal reinforcement allowed so this also we need to add for column as well as beam for column as per code it is mentioned as six percentage but practically we are not using six percentage I'm allowing till 4% and for beams I'm giving 2% maximum longitudinal reinforcement allowed I'm giving 2% see now we have added all the parameters see the yield strength of steel has not been added as I told you before we have to add properly otherwise it will not be shown here so main reinforcement is 500 give add and then secondary reinforcement is 415 give add we check now see the clear cover has been added for column b and then this is compressive strength of concrete and these two are yield strength of steel and ratios this is the maximum uh, main bar and secondary bar diameters next let's assign the parameters so first let's select this clear cover clear cover 0 0.025 is for beams go to select beams parallel to x and select beams parallel to z so all the beams have been selected now assign to selected beams assign so before assigning the question mark will be shown here once it is assigned you can see the tick mark over here next let's select clear cover for columns go to select beams parallel to y all the columns have been selected assign see now this is assigned and this one is for assign to view compressive strength of concrete is for the whole structure and uh, let's similarly assign this compressive strength of steel it is for whole structure and this one is also for the whole structure and ratio we need to give 4 is for columns beams parallel to y assign now it is assigned and ratio 2 is for beams select beams parallel to x and beams parallel to z see now it is assigned next maximum main reinforcement maximum secondary reinforcement this is for the whole structure this is for both beam and column so assign to view and this is also assigned to view see now everything has been assigned next we have to go to commands design beam add design column add and then take off add give close those commands have been also added here now we need to select this one and then go to select beams parallel to x and beams parallel to z give assign the parameters we have assigned for the beams that parameter values start will take and do the design similarly let's select the design column option go to select and then beam parallel to y give assign see now everything done next let's close this one and then save let's run the analysis see our model has zero errors and 14 warnings so let's see what is the warnings we get we have the warning length to depth ratio for member 257 257 is less than 2.5 so deep beam is not designed assuming it to be a part of a continuous beam and away from the critical section for enhanced shear ordinary shear 
check is performed otherwise provide inch and rents parameters so for the given beams that is beam number 257 the length to depth ratio is less than 2.5 so what we have to do we have to assign the only uh, ordinary shear check is performed command that is enhanced shear enhanced shear is called ordinary shear okay so for that we need to give this command enhanced shear in the stand editor mode so that this warnings will not be shown see we have this many members we have these warnings so go to editor mode the design beam before that we have to give this command e n s h which is enhanced shear 1 m e m b this is member member numbers we need to give 257 2 261 262 263 360 3 and then we can say see this command is here So let's see go to analyze run analysis see now there is no error no warnings no notes it is done let's go to post processing mode concrete design beam design let's check so these are all the beam results so this is how it looks like the length of the beam and uh, concrete grade is m25 and if e 500 is for main reinforcement 415 for secondary reinforcement see cover we have applied right 25 mm the size of the beam is 225 by 450 mm and reinforcement it is given here top reinforcement bottom reinforcement and this is summary area of provided reinforcement that means top reinforcement how many layers you need to give bottom reinforcement how much you need to give and shear reinforcement how much you need to give that is two legged 8 diart 145 mm center to center so this is the shear force for all the beams you can get the results next let's see for column so this is your column design length of the column is 1980 mm cross section 225 by 450 this is also 500 main reinforcement and 415 for secondary reinforcement cover is 40 mm and uh, required steel area is this much required concrete area is this much and main reinforcement we how much we need to provide 8 mm dia uh, sorry 8 numbers of 12 mm dia that is 0.89 percentage we gave the the ratio percentage ratio should not exceed 4% 4% 4 is the maximum area we have to provide so it is coming very less only 8.9 percentage the minimum percentage for column is 0.8 percentage it is coming around that only and tie reinforcement is provide 8 mm dia at 190 mm center to center see all the values are given here for all the columns when you click on the member here concrete design option is there you can get all the reinforcement details so this is for b generally if you double click on the column You get reinforcement details for column. So here in design parameter, see the AST required is 165 mm squared and percentage of reinforcement is 0.89. Bar size is 12 mm dia bar. Bar numbers eight. That means eight numbers of 12 mm dia bar we need to provide. So friends, I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries. Your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.